October 17, 2020, folks. Well, just as I was going to move on to the next video, audio recording actually, another MK Ultra proof, which would involve Tanya, Tatiana, Tanyushka, Tatiana from also from Belarus and from the same city, Brest in Belarus, just as the case was with Mr. Sergei, whom I have identified in the city Strykov in the center of the Poland. Strykov is right next to city Luoc. On August the 28, 2020, uh, I decided, I did so in a video, um, a Belarus gentleman and Slovenian actually a couple, a Belarus-Slovenian couple identified, involved in MK Ultra, and identified, in case you have not seen that, uh, you may want to go see that video, okay, that's what it's titled like, uh, Belarus-Slovenian couple identified, involved in MK Ultra, identified. Uh, I decided not to just proceed to the audio recording from Tatiana, no, this is amazing, she's from the same city, and I did identify her in the Luoc, not in streak of like Sergey, but in Luoc, and boy, I did so several months earlier. That happened so sometimes in May, uh, a few months earlier than what I did Sergey. Both involved in MK Ultra, both actually good friends. They know each other. I realized that later on, when more memories came to me. Uh, and instead I decided I'm not just gonna go like that. There is much more to Belarus, much, much more to Belarus, since this is what Angela Merkel started. She demanded this Tiananmen Square massacre, a civil war, if you like, in Belarus in 2020 through Chihanovskaya. And I decided actually to step on the side of the Belarus and do my part for the Belarus because I know that there is a lot people don't know. There is a lot that people need to learn about uh, about this case. This case is the case. And so I decided I'm going to stick a little bit more about Belarus for now. And of course, from this point on, I will proceed with other audio recordings, but there is more I have to say in respect to Sergei. As Sergei about the same age as I am, was in a military academy already since age, I think, 16, something like this. He went to the military academy and went through the school for the officer, completed that. Uh, and so I am thinking about, I'm not even sure how long before he met me was he uh, in this school. I'm not even sure about it. I, I'm not sure. 16, 18, I'm not sure what it was. It 40 years that he was in this school already before he met me, or is it, was it already eight years that he was, that he already served in armed forces of Belarus between four and eight years. I know that he was designated to go to one city like quite far away, actually, quite far away from Brest, uh, where he would have a really comfortable job, low risk, security. Uh, he was set for life. And somehow, you see, this is all memory from MK Ultra, thanks to Sergey. Somehow changed his mind and returned to Brest, dreaming about enrolling himself into becoming a commando or something like this. I think that decision about um, his um, whereabouts had a lot to do with Yugoslavia. And some even I understand, it's what I was told even with me, something. Um, that, you know, in contrast to what I was asked by his comrades, 
from the military academy, whatever you want to, um, which asked me on the side. He had two really good friends. Everybody loved Sergey in this military school. Everybody was crazy about Sergey. Sergey was like hit in this school. He was just very popular. But he was he had like two friends that were completely crazy about him. That um, they pulled me on the side and they they were really worried about him about his whereabouts, what what he wants to do with his life and um, they told me we're gonna try to stop Sergey, help us out from going on his mission in, in his direction. He's just trying to go uh, in a very dangerous career field and we want to stop. We don't want him to do this, something like this. We want him to have a stable life and, and so on and so forth. We don't want uh, this for him. All right, so you're gonna help us out and this and that and tra la 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 la. Too bad because I myself I was always into action. So the Sergey did pulled me on the side, started to show me his. Uh, I don't know. He had some kind of magazine, something like this, and started to show me this. Uh, he instead make me exciting. I make him excited that this is exactly the way and this and that and exactly the opposite happened. I drove him according to others even more into this uh, adventure uh, and that's how I actually got in trouble even with his mom you see Sergey would take me everywhere he took me all over the breast he took me to his parents um, he got involved in this today when I think about it According to his words already from beginning, from a, from point from day one, literally due to humanitarian reasons, did not want to have anything. When he learned about the case, about what goes on, and I know so. This is a fact. I know so because he put his own life on risk. No, we we did not know. When I say we, I'll say uh, Sergey. Uh, did not even know uh, whether I'm gonna make it this or not. You know, he was like, I think, praying for me big time. Um, he said to me, he said, he said, if you if you if you make it ever through, you you can buy me and and to the Slovenian girl a ticket. Uh, he told me this one time when we went from Belarus, when we flew back to Ljubljana, I, I, I think from Minsk or whatever that was. Okay. Um, he never got, he did got certain things, but I can tell you this man never lived for any expectations from me for something like this. He just, but he was like, he really was, just as he stated the first day, humanitarian mission. He was on a humanitarian mission on his own. Um, he became extremely uh, concerned. He had a very good heart. Some people involved in this stuff had a really, really good heart. They just... Um, situation as crazy as it was, he would just stick around me and continue to update me over the years over the years so it came clear obvious that's why i'm not going to the next audio recording that i'm going to stick for another hour or two with him to give you a, like a really detailed background what else do i remember from sergey in case somebody would actually decide to go and do his job in respect of all this Sergey's mom and dad, um, they lived in a tall apartment building when compared to Tanya, which I'm going to go next to. This was a taller building, but Also, I think older inside, it was more like an old-fashioned way. Father loved me. Father loved me. Uh, but mom loved me 
um, started to get really worried about because of the stuff I stated that they had a very negative impact on him and so on and so forth. Belarus and Russian governments, um, as I started to get more and more obnoxious, would engage occasionally on stupidities. Right? It was this individual, Valerio was his name from Belarus, a KGB guy who was involved in this stuff that would just would just go off the track, I think, uh, for many reasons, have the right to think stuff like this. The thing about it is this guy, this guy was not even a real KGB. This guy over time, over the years, started to see things his own way. And he was not the only one, it was also others. Uh, the other individual in Grotnikach, Yuri, and I'm not sure about this, but I do strongly believe that both of these people were actually opposition of Lukashenko. Therefore, Tiananmen Square incitement of Angela Merkel for 2020 for Belarus. This is what I think now is becoming more and more evident. I remember he had uh, close to the citizenship already of Poland and he somehow miraculously came over there and this and that. It was a stuff like this. Valeria was already outside of the Belarus system, I understand. This is what I was told on Amiga Ultra already for some time. So that Belarus probably wonders about this individual from Minsk and so on and so forth. Uh, to whom I really don't wish anything bad because there's already too bad stuff, too much bad stuff that happened. So I, in fact, would take initiative to help both of these people, all of them. There is nothing that retaliation can do for anybody. Um, and so why to even consider anything like this? Uh, whatever was, whatever was, the main thing is that people would learn something from this stuff. This stuff was extremely clustered. The more that I learn about this stuff, the more I understand what's happening in Belarus. There is just a big, one big ass misunderstanding. I know that people do want better life, better economy, but you people have to understand this case to understand how to get to better life to better economy if you don't understand this case and this regardless it doesn't concern only belarus you're never gonna find your better life a better economy when you lose home you lose home when you lose homeland you're never gonna get home this is just the way it is think about this stuff you're never gonna get home again once you lose a homeland you're never going to get home again. You still have a chance to get another home when you lose home. But when you lose a homeland, you're never going to get another room. But there will be no home for you no more. I guarantee you that. Sergey took me to his military institutions. He took me to the military hospital. Uh, he took me around, he gave me as much as possible he possibly could give me from his life. So I would take as much as possible and basically help myself somehow out of this mess. Um, Americans, uh, actually, excuse me, Russians and Belarusians, they don't even have to mess with me much. On the side of their fiascos, because today they do understand this was a fiasco. They had a secret fan enemy for whom they actually deemed as a friend. And it's now becoming clearly that this friend wants actually a massacre. And in Russia and in Belarus. I don't actually have to be explicit about who that is or was. It became clear to me that long after Russia was already gone from Poland and Czech Republic and all this stuff, the bad stuff continued to happen and to Czechs and to Polacks. There was still a massacre that went on, actually intensified. And for everything, for the most part, it was the Russians that were guilty of. Or for. People were still going bad, left and right. Today, it's exactly the opposite. 
but it's still the bad stuff that goes on. You know, today, it's the people that, same people that suggested that the Russian did this because of this and that, that are doing the bad stuff for exactly the opposite reason. They try to favor other option doing the bad stuff to people. So we have the same, the same option, the same people basically doing the bad stuff to the people. Now that Americans were doing a really, really bad stuff to me, and even on behalf of these people that I mentioned, and I'm talking again about Duda, Morawiecki, Andrzej Babic, it became clear to me once I was transferred back from the Belarus, from the Russia, when I would be transferred back to Poland, to Czech Republic, when, when they would talk and I was capable to hear. I was I was in vicinity. They were talking next to me. It was discussions. It was all kinds of stuff went on. And it was repeatedly asked from the Polish side. It was repeatedly asked. It's already in Poland to not cooperate with the Russians or with the Belarusians. It was a repeatedly demand that I should carry no memories with me from Russia or Be Belarus. Therefore, the Russians, who believed that I was an enemy of the enemies, that I am about to do something bad to them, did not understand that it was somebody that hated me far more than they did. Someone that was doing really bad stuff they didn't even have to ask because the Russians actually believed that the stuff they did, which they did some bad stuff at the beginning, it was some stupid stuff that happened over there in Poland, were actually Americans doing like arbitrary. They, they were just doing this from day number one as they made a decision that I'm actually really dangerous for all that stuff and the whole thing is to be nothing more than blah 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 which one day will never ever go through it was the decision that became to me evident also because of Donald Trump issues I'm gonna discuss in some other issue uh, video right so I did not have to worry about whatever was not done to me in Russia or Belarus that is going to come anywhere because if I was taken to Poland from there or I was taken to the US even worse bad stuff really bad stuff happened in between so that if there would be something with me that thing was erased even more once outside of the Russian and Belarus you know uh, you know Donald Trump hated me from the first day from the beginning from the from from beginning to the end like you have no idea he alone sworn vendetta against me to get me killed to get me I don't know what for the sake of his daughter uh, Ivanka who I definitely would not want to have around uh, absolutely not uh, you don't want to have individual that guarantees you that you're gonna suffer a rust poisoning and stuff like this because of the stuff we gonna do to you because of the stuff my dad is gonna do to you and it was stuff like this that I would buy a new cooking equipment that would be destroyed and on the damage they would on on the cracks they would just pour some hardcore liquid that would eat everything and the rust would just explode all over this emulsion this was the stuff she was in Poland she did threaten with the with the poisonings and stuff like this what we're gonna do to you that's why I said the, around the person you don't want to be I mean whoever want to be and let them be but I know for myself and I'm not gonna get into that stuff but this is a stuff that goes to 96 when I normally that I would not even think about looking at some teenage girl or something like this I never ever was a pedophile I never was interested in any of that stuff that's the stuff I would run away from anything that would have to do with it this was automatic no 
Donald Trump wanted to desperately get profiling of me about his daughter Ivanka which I totally rejected because of what she had to undergo a surgery the sooner the less likely the world is going to notice how she looked like according to him he's subject also to some other females to that kind of practice and it was also everything was because of me in Strykov in city Strykov where I recognized Sergei There was a Slovenian company that was 30 years, is already 35 years ago, that was in Strikov. Far before any American company came, and they invested a decent amount of money into a structure that provided safe jobs, good security jobs, good technology, good solution to pharmaceutical needs for the state of Poland, for the Polish workers. And Donald Trump did not hate nothing more than anything that would be like high tech that would be you know on a level on on a real level that would match whatever Americans had to offer whatever West had uh, and for that matter it was not because as he claimed it would be that he would not allow investors because he was a chairman of Western investors industrialists governments he was the one who actually gave you approval for you to come and have the right to invest into certain countries, certain areas, certain city, whatever. And he would actually work according to specifications of the plan which they had. They had their own map for the world. And according to this map of the world they created, uh, they wanted to also annex Eastern Europe according to their needs, basically. So they, they created it was the Eastern Europe that had to submit themselves according to this economic structure, according to this economic plan, according to this uh, infrastructures, um, necessities to the West. Uh, something actually that Eastern Europeans uh, at the beginning protested, because it would mean like a total dependence on the West and stuff like that. And then they realized that actually this is okay if they're going to finance because there's still ability to restructure itself. Uh, so use one option to fit the West and another one to fit your own needs. This is nothing, actually, I would do the same thing. This is nothing wrong with it. This is what Ukrainians actually explained me that uh, about exactly how that stuff went on. You know? And so Donald Trump was so mad about this Slovenian company, Lek Ljubljana, Oh, looking good, great looking building. He was scared, he was terrified. Every time he would not even want to go to Strykov, you know. From far away, we would stop with the car and he would stare at this building and rage in anger. He would boil in anger. It would take years, boy, to bring him to the table um, to approve investments to the city into the city of Strykov in Poland where they just love this company and they love us it's like a little Slovenia they call um, and even that happened because of the revolt because of protest of the British foremost investors uh, Germans and others that they no longer could take it because they were losing money through incentives economic incentives that Polish government distributed throughout the Poland specifically through this city for any kind of investments um, they no longer could afford themselves to lose monies opportunities investment opportunities so this is actually the real reason why Donald Trump number one allowed uh, finally no longer could resist to that pressure because they, they were going to kick him out of there. He was a loser from beginning to the end. Um, and not as he claimed that he would not want to do anything to do with it because of what Slovenian government was doing to me. That's a bullshit, excuse me, on my language, but nothing else than bullshit. Uh, Donald Trump was in it to get me destroyed already from the day one. Now, the one who selected Donald Trump for the job 
to protect me in a parenthesis it was a uh, Queen Elizabeth she was the one who entrusted him with this position uh, to protect me and this is the protection I got you know, he turned the hell whenever he could he tried to turn the people of Strikov Slovenian company leg against me Slovenian government against me he, he, he this man wanted me more than death and his idea was to get the whole world against me this is the real reason why so Russians who have seen investors that Donald Trump would present with the issue as such as you but they encouraged me to do the most obnoxious disgusting things to the Russians against the Russians against the Ukrainians uh, against the Pollocks against everybody at the same time demanded the Eastern Europeans to help me out imagine somebody comes to excuse me fuck you verbally mentally and it's your assignment a condition actually for you to receive the money is to actually help him out now this person is drugged up messed up but you need to make sure that he remembers <laughs> excuse me this is Donald Trump that he remembers details about the city so he can prove facts about how the city was developed based on which he will be paid he will be paid I don't know how much money oh uh, this is how Donald Trump paid uh, played and the results of this kind of game <laughs> that Donald Trump created <laughs> you can see boy you were already able to see something in China in Tiananmen Square but this is pretty much what they anticipated for the Belarus this is how this is this is a scenario ladies and gentlemen from Donald Trump all right I'm just giving you from A to Z the background so you understand what kind of game this was right hey I got a lot of stuff to tell about that I'm gonna reserve some videos separately to that but let's go back to to Sergey uh, and continue with uh, with report on on MK Ultra and on an involvement of Mr. Sergey into MK Ultra. What other informations information I managed to remember about this gentleman? Um, I was in a several military complexes with him. There was a lot of people. I'm going to give you some pictures. It will be the best way so this way you you manage to memorize all this stuff because just talking to you like this it's difficult it would be better for you to go see and then you're going to see the amplitude of my knowledge about mr sergey because he actually guided me throughout his entire life bagging like this his friends uh who no longer saw the friend in me just like his mom didn't not to mess with me uh so under the political pressure like this trying to desperately help me out truly for no other than humanitarian reasons he did profit it because he managed to stay closer uh, to the city breast closer to his family closer to also his uh, parents he did he did have a little privileges um, he did manage to get some assignment for him assignments which secured him a higher position a rank within the military and later on he actually got the job that offered him a high prosperity when compared to situation in Belarus he did but if I had ability if I had a chance today if I were looking for employee if I were looking for a good person I think I could not find better person than Sergey I would offer him a top job because the humanity in this individual was it was a soul it was a heart in this individual this individual was a United Nation individual when we met it was nothing other than UN I don't know what they have done with him but he was into humanitarian stuff that he was like the guy you would like a top guy you would listen from the UN that's all there was I have no idea what they have done to him why he was like this but this his soul was as clear as a mountain stream let's say there was no nothing in him nothing like that 
and the faith to help me out was it never came it never, it never it never went off tracks or something like this he went all the way through the worst and to good because he did manage to prosper when compared to his friends in belarus quite well and but for the stuff that really he deserved much much more than that he never would complain he never would say anything like this he would just stay grateful and just like already when he already have gone through all this stuff and 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 he was just sick and so on and it's just amazing right this guy um tatiana tanya tanishka when i released the audio about her the, the video coming this is she became her friend through mk ultra they would not know each other before but through mk ultra they got to know each other and became friends the people got to know each other a lot uh, through this case a lot of people created friendships some people got married nothing like this in this case this was completely separate never nothing between the two but <clears throat> i think the best for me would be ladies and gentlemen just to go straight to uh through the few pictures and so you're gonna understand my knowledge about the Sergey, what else exactly do I remember? Uh, I think the stuff that I already said give you more information that his parents lived in a high rise, um, in, in a building. I, I, I estimate about like 10 story tall building, and he was very high up. If he was, he was at least on a 7 8 floor, something like this. Uh, when compared to Tanya, her building was not as tall. That, that you're talking about maybe a 7 story building. Uh, I estimate all right his building from his parents from the Sergei's parents might have been actually even more than 10 floors all right might be actually even more than that but it was considered this as, as a tall building older building too I'm not gonna say older building but inside was you know this is very clean place but I'm gonna demonstrate you a photo so you get to know what it looked like uh in 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 the parents place the parents place uh, and then of course in the video that i'm going to separately reserve for the tanya uh, also who lived in apartment complex uh, i will demonstrate also what her place looked like that was newer already looked like on the inside right so we're going to see all the differences and also locations and i'm going to demonstrate to you the facilities i was in uh where i would met and military officers and i would met a lady so now the military officer is gonna have to excuse me there is one officer who did as he said promised me that he would that, that i can say that but this is because of the stuff that they did so I would remember them because they love me these people uh but the ladies the ladies i did remember yeah, if i did remember something it was always the rivers uh and the ladies this is always what got my A1A attention. You know? Whatever I would be, the lady, if I would see, uh, damn sure that, that uh, they got my attention. And another thing that I really remember were the rivers. You know, I was a pain in the butt because I always wanted next to be next to the river. Um, a lot of issues in respect that I was going to say Mr. Daniel Smith figured out that it's the best to keep me away from Reavers because he became uh, it was contagious this Reavers, this issues with the Reavers I had, the stuff uh, they alone and they feared, he feared that I'm actually not going to pay attention to the stuff that, that's going to matter and so on and so forth so <clears throat> let's go and I'm going to demonstrate you some photos, videos uh, stuff like this so that you're going to be able to see um what exactly do i remember about the sergey uh what other information i can provide about the sergey the guy i have met in Strykov on august the 28 2020 my second day and it was about the same night i already left to the czech republic because i no longer could take it yeah actually it was the same night uh it was too much going from door to door all over the city luge it's a huge city uh stay job the supply online uh build online store uh submit applications for the online tutoring all kinds of stuff 
and all this it was in vain for nothing uh, and so the same thing through the streak of these memories popped up made decision to get to get out of there as fast as possible it was also the time for me to report again outside of the Poland if I was to come back to Poland again because this is on every three months when you're unemployed bad things were happening trespassing into vehicle destruction of the vehicle and so on and so forth all along so let's go let's go folks to to some pictures to the stuff so that you can see what else have I managed to remember about Sergey I can tell you I could write a book about the Sergey the problem with this stuff is every time when somebody gets on a picture the amount of data on special about the Sergey because he dedicated his life to this case he went from beginning to the end over the years he was keep updating me updating me updating and mating and he's he was amazing um you're gonna see just uh the amount of data and if i wanted more data about this if you would ask me certain issues questions sure enough that i could pull them more i could always pull more uh there's always it's like whatever you basically demonstrated if if you have enough time this is where the problem here is time uh, you can pull more and more and more and more data all right listen i am doing this stuff because of what happened a few days ago when angela merkel literally called for the civil war in belarus so that 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 these people understand that chihanovskaya and navalny are no heroes that this kind of agenda she and her colleagues in london and in washington dc offered to so-called opposition is actually a bloodshed option uh, that would lead and poland and czech republic and slovakia and ukraine into the same situation i'm in today they already are half in there uh, and i think belarus does not need any of this stuff uh, there is no need for this kind of uh, calls we have seen in the past with those calls brought and it's the kind of calls always take place when the country is about to make step a little bit higher it's happened the same thing with China here ladies and gentlemen this is a uh, super advanced knowledge according to the memory from MK Ultra uh, I'm actually gonna even go in a few things here that go prior to 1995. What you see here is a breast, city breast, for which I'm telling you right now I can do almost the same thing I did, almost. No, not as much, no, 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 no. But close, close. All right, let's say to about a quarter of what I did for, let's say, Lodz, all right? No, it's not as much, uh, but, the knowledge about the city that you see here, this stuff that you see here in front of you, mine from an MK Ultra from year 1995 is astronomical. For those who claim that, oh no, <laughs> if you dare to doubt, it's scary. It's a crystal clear, brutal, easy to prove as factual. Even in addition to the stuff I did, I don't have a problem, as I stated, to sit with the police, go from door to door, answer the questions. Resolve the street by street, point out the businesses, you see this stuff here that you see here in front of you, and so on and so forth. Oh yes, indeed. Folks, it's like this. All the puzzles are right here, now resolved in front of me, okay? just a little back i gave the thumbs up to these guys here you're lucky could you get to see the pictures otherwise you don't this was the first the number one building that received the funds for modernization for the reconstruction they received one already 96 97 97 98 this was already done and they were really really pleased really really happy these people would keep bringing me around um but i think 
because they loved me for some reason at that time actually 95 96 I did not believe anybody give a F about me in this world to be honest with you 97 I was a human wreck uh, I just came to the US and stuff the US government did to me in the US made me already believe I'm not even a human being why the F excuse me would somebody give somewhere else shit about me it didn't come I, I couldn't come to my terms all right they were explaining me they like me but I think at that time I was such a poor creature that you could talk to me for years and I'm still not sure if I would understand what you said even if you would say that you like me for whatever reason this is how fucked up I was under MKR in 95 96 97 98 um, yeah you could say that probably I was suffering depression or whatever but still managed to get through without a single scratch this year just a really good people lovely people this belarus here police they are quite unforgettable people that's all i gotta say about them yeah, i want to thank them for this opportunity this is just a place we would come this is not where the sergey would be but right here did you see here this this is one location he was and in 1995 this is the area where we were uh, unfortunately right where you see the cursor this this around this area this 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 you see what the problem is you see it you don't get to see here you don't get to see here Google Maps you don't get to see anything here you don't get to see anything because well Google was really nasty to Mr. Lukashenko in a way that he feared for his country just as he feared for his life um, he would not allow anyone to take just go out there and just do stuff like this all right so Google masters from the USA resented Lukashenko for this and went ahead with Poland and so on and so forth leaving him behind in the dust even after he changed his mind and asked them to do it it was just uh, that no that stick around for a while there is a little bit more to that one version has it that even evolved something to have to do with me that he wanted to demonstrate to the world my ability of recognizing belarus places without any kind of map google map assistance or something like this and so i guess i'm gonna do it for both of us today um something i owe to belarus anyway so i like belarus we will do it first of all what i can tell you about this street here the first that comes to mind is the first in slovenia we say kasarna you know um vojna vo, vojna vojni komisariat um it's not the one that I have just demonstrated you right this here Rayonovi but it's right this here this thing here this was Sergei's first occasion this was his old um, know, military school if you want whatever this is where it all started this is where he was first this right here this this was the number one place for him this year and so because we would keep coming here so over time we would move from from the area that you see here from this area that you see here from this here this that you see here this i can i don't know i i would have to it's a separate video that i have to do all right because you can do the stuff like this too but this is kind of a difficult right um nothing here really changed this is still the same i see that the jail for investigations and stuff like this military related issues still here everything here but here the street 
that it says prospect Masherava. Masherava, this here. Uh, I don't know if it's a prospect Mashereva. It could be prospect Mashereva. Um, this stuff here did change. I'm going to tell you how, what exactly do I remember about this stuff here. This is an old store, this one here, Dvakolesa. Uh, this one actually would come to life sometime, I estimate, in like 2002, something like this. Yeah? This here, did you see this stuff here? This, uh, this one here, let me see this here, Producti Magazzini, this and that, this, this stuff here, this stuff here. <sighs> this was the last one, the Dvakolesa, okay? Then you have this here. As far as the businesses, I, I'm going to stop here. I'm not going to get into it. Excuse me, I don't want to say. According to Donald Trump, St. Simon Cathedral, this stuff here, this is what Trump claimed. It was built from the scratch, the whole thing in year 99. Like the first thing here in the street that they would do to something to, they claimed to me it was a Simon Cathedral. This one here, this. Uh, basically at the same time is huh, something across the street. Um, in this street that we did Now do I actually believe that this was really built from the scratch like Donald Trump insisted that other churches were built but that this one here was actually built from the scratch um, in the 99 you were talking about the answer to this question from my point of view when I think about it when I see this stuff is a no I believe this church was actually rebuilt too Donald Trump was just a big swine shit. And I think the same thing pertains to this church here. I think it was only renovated because... Donald Trump, whatever Donald Trump said something, it usually effed me badly. I do believe this was also renovated. All through the church property was like kind of invisible invisible or at least they make so much loudness and applause to him um, that it just make you believe sometimes that whatever was rebuilt remodeled I should say that uh, there was new you know it was like this but I still believe this this thing here this thing was remodeled basically i think that this was a church it was an old property and i believe it was totally remodeled in about year 99 one of the first here in the street i just am trying to like this to go about this stuff is not just like that this isn't exactly easy what i can tell you is that right here next to as we go down the street there is a university here, Central Univer Mac. What is this here? Um, Univer Mar Shopping Mall. I'm sorry, this is a shopping mall. This is a shopping mall. What I'm going to tell you here is a shopping mall, and then you have a hotel here, right? Then this is a hotel here. What I'm going to tell you is that hotel was here then the shopping mall appeared then what happened was in between the hotel and between the shopping mall what the area that you see here automobile Yastoyanka here parking whatever this is and it says here domino pizza and stuff this was a park this was a little park this is where people would come to walk dogs and stuff like this this was a little park it became cemented and then you see domino pizza and stuff like this appeared all right 
So without the Google Maps, even without the ability to go down and see the street, what it looks like down, I can tell you about from scratch, from year 1995, what's changed. And I'm really doing this thanks to Sergey. Sergey was the one who actually really did stimulate me enough, man, to go and do something like this. Oi, Sergey, thank you very much. Sergey did not like this place. He didn't like this place because, I mean, he loved this place. Because the military, the Belarus to him is life, is everything to him. But they wouldn't let guys out. I don't know on what days was that. Uh, or was it certain hours they would not let him out? You know, you're young and this and that. Um, and so he was not so much. But he wouldn't go out to be with the girls or something like this. But he just loved to be around me. This man just loved to be around me. He's like a little brother. Uh, and another thing about him is that he had a family. Um, we're going to get to that issue too. Um, and another place where you're about to see was really far. And to avoid this place here and to avoid the other place. And thanks to this case of mine, this MK Ultra case, that did help me a little bit, help him a little bit. He managed to get here into this Rayonovi Voini Commissariat. So he was lucky enough to get here. This was a good location. This one he liked it. Um, he liked it. He really, what he really liked it was this one here. This is yet another one. Okay, I'm gonna put like this. I'm gonna put like this in the Russian Cyrillic, like this. Like this, tick, tick. And we're gonna do this. And now we're gonna do this stuff here, right? Because you see these three facilities here right Rayone uh, is this one here commissariat is closer here um to this area where we were based and i think it was closer to his family too yet something i have to find out he just was happier here than being here all through this was the place he loved and everybody was in love in sergey However, I have to tell you that I was on all of three locations here. I was here, I was here, I was here because Sergey took me everywhere. And so, because there is no way to see any picture about this, and you can trust me on that. Sure, you can trust me about this. Um, no, let's do it like this, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this. There is nothing. There is absolutely nothing. This is very, very uh, kind of a protected that I was quite uh, a little while ago. I was quite shocked because I was looking for the pictures. I was trying to find myself, get myself some kind of help. I always want to thank these golden guys here big time. Um, what is this? What do you see here? You see still the same thing uh, like they told me and they were very proud of the uniforms from the past. Going from the left side to the right, you see how the uniforms change over the time and they are really proud about that. Beautiful people. Um, this was the first place that actually got the money and this is, um, they were really proud about this stuff here. Okay, let's go back here. Talking about the city Brest. In Belarus indeed. Ay, 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 caramba, this one here. gotta see this here okay this is completely not here this is somewhere else okay um, there is um, really not chance to uh, 
You know, just do it like this. Uh, yeah, this could actually be. This could actually be. Huh. Now, I am going to have to take some extra time to go over this stuff. This I'm going to tell you something that I did not go over yet. But since I did not, I'm going to tell you like this. This is where he was transferred, luckily, thanks to my case, at least twice right here to this place but the main place was this one here and this is also the place i remember the most and it's also the place where people love me till i started to do unbearable stuff in this place and when i say unbearable stuff you have no idea to the stuff that i was a real monkey okay the stuff i did um a real real monkey would only do the stuff like this i was a monkey of the monkey of the monkeys what you see here i have actually watched the stuff like this i have seen it with my own eyes um the ladies here that you see i courted them this is why the monkey stuff started coming out of me because it was like this ladies that you see here are employees from this place now they do have a flowers over there um, they were frequently appearing and this one here this one is always still apparently that she still employed this beautiful woman here that you see always was I don't know this is a, some kind of a ceremony I think they complete and she's the one she gives them congratulations or whatever this is the tradition of the school what did the monkey of the monkeys did here to these people here a whole a lot to tell you the truth um sergey looks just like this man here that you see uh and this man here that you see is like how can i say he was always i'm not even sure i think that he was uh one time that he was actually something like this that he was here or something like that that he was um, i have no idea about this to be honest with you he was um, he came from somewhere or something like this i i don't know i don't remember he would come i don't know something politically related he would always come my monkey business started because i uh they they, all these ladies were really excited whenever I came. They were very playful. Um, and uh, they were very beautiful too. And the question on... Yeah, they, they were quite uh, challenging me, you know, with the flirting. And when you are drugged up under MK Ultra, then and you see the ladies. There were two things of my interest. One was ladies, another one was water. Because the MK Ultra is the most boring part you prop you pro you possibly can imagine. You become a retard under MK Ultra. They would have me three, four days in Poland staring at the wall. And the blank wall, folks. Then they would come to pick me up and stuff like this inside of the hospital. This kind of shit. Um you don't know the stuff they have done to me, alright? So now if you're a male, you can probably relate to me, right? Uh and they started to play with me. If I like it, if I want one, would you like? Which one do you like the best? But which one you like better? But don't you like that one better? But if you like both of them, then you can have two. And you're in a foreign country. And uh, how come two? Can you explain to me this and that? And you become more and more confused. Asking questions if this is actually possible. Then you start to think, where is this? Oh, this is another country. Oh, wow. You know, you can have two why don't you have three and this and that and then you have none and ha 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 what about the other one over there and tra la 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 then it's a you know insult because stuff like this they have done to me like a million times the scenario becomes very familiar to you again and you start to do a really bad stuff right 
then the insults fly into everybody and then they got tired of me and then it was all kinds of stuff that fortunately for me uh, did not go completely through because of Sergey because Sergey was you know he was just in there to help me out you know he was just begging them not to do anything to me you know, this is how honest he was it was not to him to lend the job or a better place or whatever it was to him the of primary importance from the beginning from the day one to the last day when he met me on August the 28th in Strykov in Poland to help me out he was in his mission to do his best for me and you see this is why I'm doing this you know I'm doing this I did volunteer for the military service still in Belarus when in 2017 when I applied for political asylum there uh, and so I'm actually doing some a little bit of my duty here too uh, there is another beautiful picture that actually got my attention I'm gonna get to that so that's something I want to square away is basically this place here now I could go more about this place here all right let's go here let's see what else do we have here At this place that you have seen right there, uh, Sergey would, just as I have explained, uh, he expressed the interest for that kind of commando action type of uh, stuff, became interested in action and such. And Sergey and I, because he took me with him, find ourselves in this place here this is called the city is called maloritskaya okay Ma, malorita okay malorita maloritskaya which one am i gonna take on i still owe you that one rayoni rayoni commissariat this i was not popular also over there <laughs> I don't know maybe that was not popular so they could help to Sergei because they love everybody loved Sergei so much uh, or maybe for some other reasons I have no idea people wanted to help me out as much as they possibly could um, I think they pretty much knew that I'm not a bad person including the Lukashenko that he uh, eh, how can I say P people try to help all right let's just continue with this here okay 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 I'm gonna be better off just doing something like this This here was the location he got next. As you see, this is quite far. This is like 20, 40, 60 kilometers, something like this, 40 kilometers, something like that. Yeah. This was the next location that Sergey and I headed. This location here. 
Uh, the first thing that Sergey had to do was to report here to this place. Here, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna demonstrate to you about where he had to report himself. Why he as a soldier had to do this because this was done for the foreigners, if I properly do remember this for sure. I do not know. But he had to stay there for like two or three days or something like this. Then they give him a clearance to go ahead to the city to the to, for the military for uh, more training and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you in a little bit. Ay, 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 caramba. Now the keyword is this one here. It's called Commissariat and in a Russian. And this is actually more useful when searching in Belarus. But we're gonna take this here void me away. This is we're gonna leave reserve just as a commissariat like this. And you're gonna see like a little building. Ah, well, let's see this what the hell that looks like. This is where he would end up in the end, right here. That you wanna be void any commissariat. I was all over this complex here. I was here many, many times. This is the only thing you can't see anything. But this here I can take you. I can demonstrate to you. This here is the entire all this facility here. This is a Voyny Commissariat, all this here that you see. This is a military facility here. 126, 124, 122. This here. This is a commissariat. This is actually where he would be staying. I think he was staying in this is interesting. I think he was staying in 124 or something like this. It was something like this. And then he moved to another one or something like that. This is this is this was his location where he would but but I still owe you about this here. This is where he proudly he would take me here. He would demonstrate to me here this hospital, Voyevna. Uh, this was actually Voyevna, I think Bolnitsa was beautiful inside. What exactly changed here? Nothing. Uh, this got remodelation, but this remodelation was done whatever they have done to one this always was like this it always was a beautiful hospital bolnitsa hospital uh, of which pictures i have also taken here it was really really ah okay this is the building where when when he we would come to malurita city this is what he would have to report first and he would have to stay here for like for two three days something like this then they clear and they didn't give him a clearance and then he would move to the location that i told you that i demonstrated you a little earlier so you're gonna say that i don't remember him like i said this is like my brother i even remember you see this here he would take me together he said do you see this do you see this and we would go and he he would be taken like this they had a place just like this where they would have the military uniforms yeah everybody knew me inside of that place you know who knows me who knows me do you see this here this is a malorita this was completed sometimes um all the way to the outskirt all the way to the outskirt uh i think they completed the job sometimes like Hi, geez, I'm not sure. I would probably live about 2003, year 2003, maybe something like this. I estimate 2003, maybe. 2003, 2004, 2003. This is basically about the time he finished. Then he was up to something else. My Sergei. So just that you understand, this is here, city Malurita. Like I said, I can't do anything because there is no Google Maps for Belarus. There's nothing you can do. I'm sure that I can do more and I will do more. 
in respect to questions which I actually have to answer to Mr. Uh, Lukashenko. But, you know, I want to say big thank you to, to Sergei. I also want to say thank you to Lukashenko too. Stuff that you see here was a risky, but nothing was as risky as going along Americans. Not the Russians, not the Belarusians knew anything about who hated me more than anybody else. Little they knew about anything at all. Little they knew about. Today, Americans, and I'm talking about Donald Trump, act as if they don't mind my saying this, but I'm telling you that they do. Trust me, they do. Trust me, they do. We will get to that stuff too. Uh, now what I am going to do is, before I go to the part, you know, since I wish that there were pictures, I had pictures. I'm going to get some more pictures together and I'm going to demonstrate you a little bit more stuff. Um, so that you get to understand that I really, really do know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's finish this thing off. Um, these are the photos, just as I have suggested, from... Uh, you want to call that academy or whatever it is. A uh, military academy, I would say. Uh, I did explain to you about this issue here. These are the officers. Now, the meaningful picture here is this one here. This is a very meaningful picture to me. This one here was like a picture that would be one of the first that I would be brought everywhere the guys would go. And this was like one of the things uh, I will not forget um, looking at the hallway like this looking at the hallway on the right side one two either second from the end or third from the end is where the Sergei was I think that where his room was I think if I'm not mistaken if this is the floor the same floor that uh, that the soldiers were located he was located on the on the right side do you see these guys they are standing on a hallway like this you see that now think about you see it in the opposite way therefore if I would indicate indicate you this with arrow think about what exactly you would see this way if you would go that way of course you don't see it right but i do because i was here this is what is on the opposite side let's picture that this is going the opposite side obviously you would see like this, the stairs up. Um, you would, from this stairs here, this is what we're gonna do is, I, I, I did this bad, All right? Let's say that this is a hallway, continuation to the opposite side. Let's say that here you would have like, like this. This is what I would refer to as the stairways. One would go this way, of course, as you know, down uh, according to the logical principles. And this way you would come to this floor. This thing here open. It would look like somewhat like this. Oh, if you would be going this way, obviously you would be going into the upper floor and going here, this here, you would be actually going down.
just one door it's one actually two doors down the hallway the second one here this one here this is where you would get bedding inside linen and stuff right here this you get this so if you want to say that I don't know what I am talking about I do I do know what I'm talking about so the door as you come up here it would be the second after the you go upstairs the second one on on the side where the two officers are standing going the opposite way to what you see right now you would get bedding linen uh, this is where the soldiers would go to get that kind of stuff it would be shelves no. just as I have demonstrated on this video that's exactly what it would look like but it would be a military stuff that they would use where the linen would be basically stored that's all I actually didn't make a mistake the floor that you see here was reserved for the officers uh, this is where you would go to get the documents done and stuff like this uh, the floor below that looked just like this was reserved for the youth that you see on the left side but exactly as I stated that's where you would get the clothing uh, linen bedding and stuff like this for the military um, if you were there and from the end in the direction that you're looking at the second or third to the right would be the entrance to the Sergei's uh, quarter inside with other guys that were inside the guys I could also give a good description about what it looked like inside I was actually impressed because um, we in Slovenia we didn't have such a good uh, amenities and I was quite surprised that they have uh, they were few compared to us in Slovenia inside for one thing uh, and uh, everything was really uh, it looked good it looked good um, everybody loved Sergei that's probably about the best thing that one could encounter along with the Sergei they also loved me until they figure out I'm no good of course more to this stuff here some interesting stuff this gentleman here that you see this gentleman here if I remember this properly he graduated I think from this Academy it was something like this and he would come back um, to honor the Academy I have no idea what he became what he accomplished it was something like this it's like a politician something like this in that sense and sure does look like uh, Sergei sure does he look like Sergei sure uh, going to the other breast map of another location of this Academy uh, military place commissariat whatever you want to call this I was not capable to pinpoint one it did not come along well I didn't do well to be honest with you um, reasons for that matter could lay also elsewhere it could be something else also that would have to do with it that eventually even includes the possibility it actually even includes the possibility that this commissariat eventually was even closed something I would kind of uh, disagree with but I'm gonna tell you straight that that was a construction uh, a construction that did go it was it was a construction that went on in that area 
one building completely changed its purpose uh, that was uh, sometimes in 2002 2003 that they built like a square over there they paved the square um, and sometimes in 2015 they started to build a fountain it was something like this uh, and around that commissariat I am trying to find one here what you see is actually Malorita medical center where I was in I demonstrated you that already I mentioned you that this is from the rear of the building what you see here and the office is inside the ambulance this here I was inside here is still the same it was like new already back then when we were there it was like this it, uh, they have like uh, excellence really when it comes to the medical services and stuff like this they have a very good um, I think very good uh, amenities for the people when it comes to the medical care and stuff like this they're very advanced something Sergei was proud about very proud about this is why he took me here if uh, Sergei would not do what he did he would end up um, his life in somewhere either here Rayon of Ivoinis Commissariat here in this um, in this location here this is what uh, he should pursue as a career Zhitkovici whatever that is or maybe even here in this place here uh, in um, whatever the name is this here Zlobin Uristkovo whatever that is or like in this in this sense away uh, he said to me far far away nothing like this here in this Malorita nothing like this but it would be far away it would be like several hours away no this I am very wrong no 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 further down that means probably here in somewhere here Rayonovi this here in Oritsko Street Zlob in probably Belarus maybe something like this which who knows I'm not gonna go into it because I don't want to get lost in all this stuff it was already too much information here anyways I don't want to mix this information this information is as detailed as factual account of MK Ultra as one possibly can give one you know this is actually a luxury a real luxury that somebody can provide with details like this some investigator or whatever that are actually really maybe they're doing their job I don't know so far I know very little about what goes on as I continue to melt this whole thing down okay so I'm just gonna put like this the talk was the talk was sometimes in yeah well now it's not even showing this thing this is nice the talk was it was also like this that they talked about this commissariat be closed you know it was also talk about this I don't know why I cannot pull this out now the talk was that what you see here in front of you is that this thing is gonna be even closed they dreamed about closing this Rayonovi, Rayonovi Commissariat that they started to talk, they contemplated on closing this thing. Yeah, yeah, I was completely correct. Uh, this is what it is. This is just a city and it's actually in the areas I have earlier indicated. Um, Sergei would go to uh, upon completion of his school. Um, and geez but because I have found myself because of this here that have relocated so to this location he told me that the other job that he was in would even actually take him further somewhere toward the Russian border toward I don't know either Bubruisk, Mogila that kind of area something like this Gomel in that sense in that triangle right there that you see it but this facility relocate itself to the location that you see here um, as far as the building I'm talking about that building was 
remodeled. Um, they have remodeled. They have they have remodeled. They changed this building. Um, they changed this building. What's interesting is they're all located in Sovietskaya. Maybe that's like really interesting. You want to know what this was in Margarita Sovietskaya, in Brest Sovietskaya, and in City Elsk Sovietskaya. Um, It was some other stories I was told about all that stuff, but that really doesn't matter. What matters right now is that I actually even close the window to this thing here. And just before, just before I do this, I want to do this stuff here. Let me see here. I'm not gonna find exactly what the building looked like. Uh, building I am talking about. And I was in many different military facilities. I'm not gonna go for it. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna do any guessing and make things problem to somebody. This I'm not gonna be doing. I just wanna do the stuff I know. It's accurate, it's 100% correct. There is nothing in the city where I was too with a Sergei. We were here, but we were here very shortly. He did not spend much time here. He did not spend much time here. We didn't spend, I wasn't here much. Maybe because the city is far away or something like this. I have no idea, but according to timing, I was here, we were here several times in and out, but we, I didn't spend much time here. Because there's nothing, there is nothing here. This is just two, three buildings in this whole city. There is nothing going on with this city. I'm just going to close this window here. Now, I'm not moving to the next issue just so easy. Before I do that, the only thing I do is I throw a few grenades around me. What I refer to as a facts. So that smoke of truth is left behind me. That's so somebody wouldn't doubt about my account. So whatever I move... I do stuff like this. The building I'm talking about here, the Rayonovi uh, Commissariat before one moved to the city of Elsk, looked like this. I'm not saying the top portion, no way, but the lower portion, you see this, it was something like this and it was an entrance. And exactly for that matter, see the entrance, pay attention to the area and the type of the building you see in front of you. I actually believe that this thing might have been located maybe here at this location maybe something like this here uh, actually here maybe even maybe in this Shastlivy Sapog whatever this is on Sofietska Gunlitz or whatever that is let me see something and you know why I think about this stuff like this I actually think about this stuff like this because you would walk through this you would walk inside and it would be another either was there or either might have been here you see this and it would it would be inside another something some kind of facility that would be located so i it was it might have been either there um or it's probably what i think it could have been here this thing that you see here so this basically this is the kind of stuff i'm talking about uh, this is one thing then the, another thing because the most the best the number one was the sovietskaya you know this was the the main thing here this this was a very heavily uh rearranged area this here this cinema that you see this here you see the belarus bank and all this stuff here all this stuff here this was also one of the quite early structures that would come to life sometime in year 2002 something like this and they were like really really proud 2003 they were like really really proud about it, it was like completely unrecognizable plus that i have tatyanushka from brest brestichka and others belaruskis they play with me here they would not wanna and they were all asking me all kinds of questions and playing with me messing with me and stuff like this if i had a google maps here I would just elevate myself down to the street, Sovietskaya, 
and then I would just go down like this. I would just just continue to go down toward the river, and I would just continue to break down, block by block, uh, and tell you basically what's changed over time. Point out maybe even some building that, like I'm quite thinking about quite a few things here. One of the buildings, I'm gonna tell you, they have actually even added, there was a building, something like this, and it would be portion of it missing, but this is not this here, and they would just add to that another portion of the building and stuff like this. It would completely change the whole appearance. It was stuff like this also that happened. Where exactly that happened, I don't know. I cannot definitely not see much like this. You usually would have to go in person but then again, in Ukraine, for Ukraine, I did the stuff literally from with the Google Maps with the guy who was involved in MK Ultra. All right, so that's that. Um, that's one issue. So we're gonna do this stuff again. Um, you see this building here right in front of me? It's what I think it was, this, this facility. And it would be like an entrance like this you would go through. This was a very, very specific, specific architecture. The entrance, something like this would be. You would walk inside. And you would actually even manage to get through. Because this was a military place. This was one of the facilities, military facilities in Brest. What you see here, this is what I believe was from his wife that the place was. Um, I have specifically in mind this picture here. This uh, bed like this that was located, that's what it looked like. I said that he has a son. I stated that. Where the apartment unit was located, let me see if there's anything like this that would do me any good. Actually not. No, not quite. Let me... Let me... Actually, what I will do is... As I move on... His apartment was located like somewhat like this. Here somewhere. Like this. Like this that you see here. Something like this. This. Like... In that sense. Like what it says here. Schola 9 in that sense, in that would have a view on um, um, as a matter of fact here I'm really really wrong uh, this building here that you see 10 this here this would be somewhat his building the location of his building this here this number 10 here that you see this would be now, if I zoom out, let's let's do it like this. Then it would be somewhere on the map. It would look like this. Like this. What this here is, this is the park of the sculptures. This was the park. One of the main attractions first when we came. When we came there, there were like maybe one sculpture. In year 1995, there was maximum one sculpture here. And the one in charge for this sculpture was a lady. And this was the lady pioneer who started to put more and more and more sculptures over the years. Eventually, I'm not sure whether this is the case or not. The park might have been changed to the Park of Sculptures name. Maybe this is why they maybe rename one or something like this. I have no idea. This is my take. It was a lady and she charged herself with these sculptures and these sculptures will just keep growing I how do I remember this stuff we're gonna close this stuff here I'll see what exactly do we have next since I'm talking about year 1995 in 1998 British really proud me told me and don't forget to tell about this. You see this view, and you see this view, and this and that, and tra la la. The name is apart me was the crap of this, but I was already three years prior to him at this location, year 1995, 96, 
Maybe even in 99 he told me, it was kind of a funny when he said that, but yeah, he had a good intention. Uh, a lot of the stuff, bad stuff happened to the people in Britain, in Germany, and elsewhere, and in, in the US especially. I bet it was numerous people like myself, and truth never came out. Uh, but this time, they really, really kind of jiggled away the whole thing. So, that you will not forget this here, this sure i did not forget this thing here and i definitely know that his wife's apartment was located right here if i go at this location right here this is a park if you look the in google maps area that's because that's all you get you don't get anything else it must have been located here somewhere like this because it was really the view on on a park was like really depressive to me it was like whoa man it was depressive stuff um when you would look through the window you would see you would see exactly this here but you would see from a it was from a lower perspective you would see like trees like trees or maybe just the picture the way it's taken with the sky right so this is maybe one of the reasons if you would just because the apartment his apartment was actually quite high you know it was not it was nothing low it was nothing low about his apartment Ay, oy. yeah this is a lot of work this is not um, yeah i guess we're not gonna go through I reduce the picture to take the bottom quarter of the picture and you would get the view on the park from his unit basically that's how that goes so that's why i know that uh that later on i'm gonna give it a little more ability to see where his apartment most likely was located but i, I estimate his apartment was probably located uh, you know, based on on what i stated right now here somewhere in this area this something like this something like this would be something like that something like this this what do you see here this is actually a picture from the hotel where we will stay uh this here what you see is far more likely than this here it does not look like this this is an old hotel <laughs> nothing like what you see right there no 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 let's go back here and we're gonna do this here just gonna do this and this we're gonna see what's gonna come out this is a uh, the building that was like the only apartment building it almost looked like in an area like was kind of on its own around and then later on other buildings started to grow and when i said later on far later on nothing will come out before i estimate even like i don't know 2002 something like this in in a radius of quite something that still did not somehow started to develop but once it started to develop it it, it really pulled off it took off ah now the sculpture that you see this one here came to life sometime before 2000 this is another issue and so on and so forth talking about his apartment what you see right here could have been the place this thing here 
from his ex-wife. Um, this well could be the place Uh, not that this would be his apartment, but I'm talking about apartment building as location wise at the park. That this well could have this view on a park like this. And with that picture was really depressive to me to see through the window this, this, um, the trees like this. And we were in a fall. Uh, I was not not happy about that stuff. It, it didn't look like a floor, though, all right? So. I'm just saying, this Belarus is a very beautiful country. I mean, if you like the outdoors and stuff like this. Uh, the, build, the picture that I have demonstrated you, and this one here. Uh, this one here, nothing ever changed. This was like in his area, in his hood. I was inside of this unit here. I was with this, with this couple. No, you see this here. This this is like a really original stuff. I don't know what they spend on this stuff here. This is why it triggered my memory. This is was one of one of like a little bit luxurious, luxury units. That's why I know that this is also a vicinity. He did have relatives here. There was relatives here, around here. Uh, he might have a sister even. Sergey might have a sister. I'm not sure whether he does have one or not, but I think he does have. Sergey's father was a military man. Because they couldn't understand how come that he would, as far as their, his parents' location, they would be located in this area here somewhere, but I, I, I don't know, I cannot spot, and I'm not going to waste time anymore in this because I have so much other stuff I got to do. But this is basically the area that his parents somehow would be located. This is why um, he liked this facility here closer to Brest also, because he had here uh, not only his friends, his wife, I assume, relatives, and his parents. Um, for which I think that father passed away him. Sometimes, hmm, I estimate maybe in 2010. And I am not, I'm not precisely sure, but I think this is what the case was. Um, you see, this is very, very, very like this, not so easy. This is a little bit gambling right now. Um, I think one of the worst issues I would face on the MK Ultra over the years that people would pass away and I was told that some mom dad passed away and stuff like this or wife even spouse or spouse got sick and stuff like this when they would people would update me this would be one of the worst issues I would get, you know, and I would get with so many people that got involved in it, a lot of the news like that. It was not a good news. It was not a good news. Sergey, because of this case, also became acquainted with approach to the people. He developed his social skills. He managed to overcome a social barrier, gained a psychological advanced psychologically in a ways on how to approach to people how to get information and so on you could say he kind of climb out of the shell because he he took me all over this place the apartment that you have seen both of those uh, one looked uh, with this wall like reddish pink uh, like a little bit chinese uh, i was inside of that apartment unit too it's the same one like in apartment unit the other one that I stated I was in. Um, a lot of neighbors here got across. I was everywhere here. For this people here, this place here where, I, where we were, he told me that you're not going to say, because they have apartments here, so that you're not going to say, uh, as you look 
the view on this park here, this is also where Commissariat is, military, that you're not gonna say it looks like uh, something like this. Uh, like a view on this one here, that you're not gonna confuse this and so on. He was worrying about what I will say. So his father, his parents lived like this somewhere here along the street, I remember. It was something like this. And everybody was like amazed that they have very high up, actually. Very high up. And everybody was, uh, it's, it's, like, it's like a building and you would go down the road and would be quite high and you would go up and you would have actually a view on the street. I remember that you, you had ability to, there was a street below, like a main street, something like this. And yeah, at first I got really confused and, but this is the problem because you have to see this stuff. You can't go like this. You can't do this stuff like this. It takes too much time, of course. Um, how come that, uh, you know, they, they, in Slovenia, they consider them as rich and this as wealthy Americans too, you know? And, and, and uh, he stated that his father was in the military. And so that Americans learned that the military is treated well in Russia and Belarus, that they treat well. Yeah, this was one of the units. It's actually located in the same building as the other one. So that definitely indicates that I was inside of this building. His building was newer. This was not his building. His building was newer. This was the building I was in, but I, I still think that his building was like a little newer. This was built in... 59 his building was built something like 75 something like this and so it must be here somewhere in this area I have no idea was it this building number 10 here this that you see here or what it was uh, it matters really not What I'm praying right now is just that, that this thing is recording the whole thing This is what I am saving for completely other issue that I have coming This is this this is the place. This is one of the first places we were at. This is a hotel, whatever. This this here. Let me see something. Let me see this stuff here. Uh, wish. Okay, let's do it like this. This. This here. This. It's still nothing around. Oh, let me see. Oh, there are buildings already growing. They 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 did grow, and I saw it. They they, they grew around. But this was like from the beginning when we came it was like. Somewhat, I got the impression it's like on its own somewhere, hanging right there out. This is the one with a view on that park that you have seen. Okay, this. And we would repeatedly come back here. We would come back here. This is with a view on park of the sculptures. Well, let me see if there's like... No time to lose. Remember that I did point it out in the 98, definitely 98, and in 99, in 98, definitely, that the building. Um, it did not look like this. It was without this uh, consoles here that you see up front. But yes, you would walk inside and you could actually walk through and then you would have a yard and the building was all around. Upstairs it was a military. Don't forget about that stuff that I did point it out. That's a very, very important one. This is where this Commissariat, this academy was based. This is what the building actually looked like, like this. As I have described don't forget that's a big one that's a huge one actually this here is what it looked the apartment from parents of uh, Sergei uh, he had just like this a table like this and computer this he was really really proud of 
like this, something like this, and down below it would be a street. Now you're talking about, I think, I don't know, maybe on the, I don't know, I had a feeling it was high up, but I don't know, all right, maybe fifth floor, I have no idea. I really do not know, it was a quite a tall building it appeared to me, okay. Yeah, and I also pointed out the area where that was. This I told you already about this. The same building as the other was located. And I deem to have done a really, really good job. This is just uh, very, very satisfactory. I could do more in respect to Malorita, uh, the place where he lived. That was interesting one too, but um, I, I am not going to do this right now because I there's a lot of other stuff I got to do. I just really want to greatly thank to Sergey that he. How can I even say he really did? He kept his promise. Um, and he lived up to the date that this actually came to life. That's actually his project he worked on. You know. That's his project, he worked on it. This is thanks to him, this project, absolutely. And he had a big difficulty to realize this project. Like I said, this was not an easy task he was after. It was a very, very difficult thing to do. Um, in the USA, you know, Russians could replicate face even with a mask or something like that. Uh, but they could not replicate the country. They could not replicate the areas for which Russians did not even know I was in the USA. They could not replicate the people. And they could not replicate Arnold Schwarzenegger, who, after demonstrating me MK Ultra place, where I was brought over and over and over again, uh, for many, many years, I think in Colorado, that shooting range, which city I know entirely, and the city and surroundings and stuff, that he's going to electrocute my brain in a little bit, I will know little nothing about who we were talking about. What he loves about it is basically standing in front of the people, people staring at him, knowing him from somewhere and stuff like this, and they know nothing about that kind of stuff. That's the stuff the Ruskies, Belaruskis could not replicate no matter what. No matter what, this is American stuff. Even the Ruskies would wanted me to believe in some kind of conspiracies and say some kind of bad word against they were also up to that kind of stuff they were also using all kinds of stuff for me to turn against them and say they wouldn't mind for me to say ah this you did this and tra la 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 it was stupidities um the reality is they were nowhere even near as little as it was United States of America. And that's why I said to the Czech people, and I say this to the Polish people, that reality, and you can see this already through coronavirus, what's going on, is not exactly the way you might think it is. It might not be exactly the kind of freedom you imagine. Uh, there is a good reason why they're so successful and the reason is, I think, in the amount of crime when compared to the Russians, which is, I think, far greater than in the Russia. Um, no way do you want to live under United States of America. When you lose your home is one thing. When you lose your homeland, that's a guarantee you will never have a home again. A three-quarter of Americans believe they don't live in their homeland to tell you the truth right now i could not understand the concept i could not understand the attitude of american people alone 
why they were so anti-American, literally, because I, as a foreigner, consider myself as an American patriot, pro-American, would never say a word against America, against US, anything like this. But I had a whole bunch of people around me, always, that would be extremely, extremely anti-American, always. And you're talking about the government employees. Anywhere from correctional officers to the police officers, they were very unsatisfied with the life. All right, so if these people are unsatisfied with life, what do you think is going to happen to you, foreigner? You're just a desk they're using, basically, to get their goals going. This is something to seriously consider. This is seriously something to, to think about. The Democrats, the U.S. Democrats, many of them, half of them, did know this case even existed till year, I think, 2001. Is this shit scary enough? I don't know to you. To me, it would be. It was not only that Republican Party members stashed their pockets through the foreign investments, but it was a good portion of the people who knew nothing about what went on. So that places the party itself on a on a jeopardy, on a on a question of how is it that some party members would not know about the stuff like this that went on. That some of them, when they find out, that they would explode. Years after this thing would go on and without their knowledge, they would not know about this stuff, they would explode. About something so outrageous like this. This is the stuff to keep in mind. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, when I say Americans, I don't mean Americans as an Americans. Daniel Smith probably would kill Donald Trump. Daniel Smith, who spent, who truly wasted his sanity in this case to get me going. Uh, begging him on his knees, talking to me in private. When, how, what are we going to, when are we going to do, help me. We got to do something about this and that. When are we going to do this? Listen, man, we, this is changing. It's this, it's that. We got to do this. We got to do that. He knew a little to nothing close to nothing what Donald Trump was doing with me on the site what Americans what Americans Americans alone were doing with me he knew nothing about electric shocks and stuff if he did he would have gone off the picture already a long time before that he knew nothing about any of this stuff so there were Americans and then again they were Americans and in America the one who wins is always the one at the top because that's the one that pulled the strengths the rest of it is like this and like that and so on and so forth this is a brutal reality that those of you who are so skeptical about the russia and about the belarus which if you go there you will see yourself in because the people will recognize you something that's not going to happen to you in the u.s i'll tell you that much should think about what i told you today about this opposition in belarus and this war call for war and so on the apartment from a parents of Sergey would remind me of what you see here something like this this is what actually no that not that one right there not this not uh, I would say the most this this kind of stuff that you see this 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 let me see narrower and different colors and then something like this this 